Did you know that you can cancel a fetch request and the user navigates away from the page or when the component is unmounted? In this video, we'll look at how to cancel a fetch request in React using the Abort Controller API. Let's look at a simple example. We have an input field when the user type in the input field we want to show the suggestions as the user types. When the user types a character, we call an API to get the suggestions and show them to the user. I'm using the fetch API to make an HTTP request to the server and get the suggestions. This works fine but there is a problem with this approach. Let me open the network tab and show you what happens when I type a character in the input field. When I type a character, I make an HTTP request to the server and get the suggestions. We can see that the request is made every time I type a character. This is not a good approach because we are making too many requests to the server. It'll increase the load on the server and it'll also increase the network traffic we might end up with a lot of unnecessary requests and a bad experience for the user because the suggestions will be shown after a delay. To solve this problem, we can use the debounce function to limit the number of times the fetch function is called. The debounce function takes a function as an argument and returns a new function. The new function will only be called after a certain amount of time has passed. This is useful when we want to limit the number of times a function is called. As you can see, now we are only making one request to the server when the user stops typing for 500 milliseconds. This is a much better approach because we are not making too many requests to the server. But, there is a problem with this approach. What if the user starts typing just after debounce has been called? In that case, we are still making unnecessary requests to the server. Let me increase the response time 3 seconds, to show you what happens when I type a character just after debounce has been called. 3 seconds is a long time for an API response. But, this is just to show you the problem clearly. As you can see, we are making multiple requests to the server. The first request is made when the user starts typing and the second request is made when the user stops typing and so on. Still, we are making unnecessary requests to the server. It would be better if we can cancel the previous request before making a new request. This way, we can make sure that only the latest request is executed. Let's look at how we can do this. We can use the abort controller API to cancel the previous request before making a new request. Abort controller is a new API that allows us to abort a fetch request. It provides a signal property that can be used to abort a fetch request. We have to pass signal property to the fetch options object. We can use component lifecycle methods to cancel the previous request before making a new request. To achieve this, we have to return a function from the useEffect hook. This function will be called when the component is unmounted. We can call the abort function inside this function to cancel the previous request. Let's see how this works. Now if I type a character in the input field while the previous request is still in progress, the previous request will be cancelled and a new request will be made to the server. This is a much better approach because we are not making unnecessary requests to the server. That's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.